What's going on everybody, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Mega Constructs Call of Duty construction sets. This time we have Legends Checkpoint Charge. This set has 197 pieces and retails for about 20 bucks. So, as you can see, it's not a huge set. We've got a, uh, a little, I'm not sure if it's a, it's a communications booth or, you know, it's just a checkpoint booth. Um, it's obviously got a power source here. We've got a little uh, power line that connects right to it, which is uh, pretty neat. And of course, the um, little <laughs> arm thing, uh, the actual checkpoint, uh, you know, bar. Uh, we also get this nice motorcycle with sidecar, which is pretty cool. We've got a World War II soldier and an, what is called an Axis soldier on the Mega Constructs website. So uh, neither of these characters were given a name on the website, so I do apologize if this is a named character or characters, and I just am unaware. But uh, I did the research, I looked into it, and I couldn't find anything. So there you go. Uh, it looks a little bit like... Um, Captain Steve Rogers. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe this backpack holds a shield, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, either way, it looks like a pretty neat set. Um, it looks very, very similar to the uh, motorcycle that I've got previously. Uh, let's see if we can actually find. There we go. It looks very, very similar to uh, this motorcycle set. As a matter of fact, it looks pretty much identical. Uh, save for the color and the fact that this one has a, uh, a gasoline canister and a spare tire on the back. Uh, but who knows what this may come with here. Well, it doesn't really look like it comes with anything extra, but, you know, we'll we'll figure it out <laughs> as we go along. But it does come with two micro figures. It does come with the motorcycle and sidecar as well as these other implements. So, uh, very cool. So I'm not really going to talk too much else about the box. We're just going to go ahead and get this set open, put together, and we will check it out in just a moment. All right, guys, so here we have a checkpoint charge. And uh, the first thing I guess we'll do is we'll check out the micro figures. Uh, and we'll start with the German, or the, I'm sorry, the Axis soldier here. Um, here he is. And he comes with... A weapon. It, it, uh, it looks like an MKV. You guys can uh, correct me if I am wrong in the comments, and I know you will. <laughs> so it's got the the side mounted magazine here, and uh, it just looks to me like it is an MKV, but I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, so here is the Axis soldier. He's got a satchel here or an ammo bag, or I'm not sure exactly what this would be. Uh, it could be his just his canteen and everything in there, but uh, we've got a very nice jacket that we've seen before, but this time it's, it's coming to us in kind of a really dark grayish blue uh, here, so that's really nice. Oh, sorry, bud. Uh, and, yeah, it's an Axis... Uh, soldier, but if you look, he's got pretty distinctly the little um, eagle on his ha his hat. And again, I could be wrong. You guys can tell me in the comments again. Uh, this is kind of the closest we've gotten in the past to uh, this sort of troop. This is a much older one. Uh, and this is a nice newer version. It's got the removable hat uh, on the top of the head. And just pop that right back on. Uh, and other than that, just very, very nice overall, nice colors. Uh, just a, kind of an olive green underneath. And then that continues to the uh, belt and shirt and everything. And then the uh, kind of bluish pants and then, you know, black. You, you guys get it. <laughs> you guys get it. Uh, so very nice overall, very nice figure. And moving on to the, uh, I guess, ally soldier. I'm not entirely sure. We'll just leave him on the bike for now. Uh, no, I'll take him off the bike. Let's, let's not, let's not be silly. Let's let's do it properly. Uh, so he can come right off the bike here. And uh, you can see the allied soldier here in his gear. 
It's got a nice uh, helmet with driving goggles on here. Some pouches, you know, extra holster for a weapon. He does have a weapon on here. I'm not sure if this is meant to be like a, a Garand or a Carbine. Uh, it looks almost like a mix between the two. If, again, you guys can let me know in the comments. This may not even be like legit World War II weapon. It might just be a rifle mold that they had that they decided to use. So uh, you guys, again, can tell me in the comments. He's got some extra bits and pieces on the back of his pack there. And just overall looks really, uh, really nicely done for a figure of this scale for sure. Um, so that's it for the figures. They both come with these little stands that we're kind of used to seeing now in these sets, which is actually really, really nice. Um, it's, it's a nice way to have all of your figures able to stand up on their own and displayed if you want them to be. So very, very cool. You get two of those. On to the, I guess, the motorcycle. All right, well, you do get a bunch of these sandbags. Well, you get three of them anyway. Uh, so that's cool. Some sandbags. And on to the motorcycle itself. The motorcycle and sidecar. Um, I'm not entirely sure what kind of motorcycle this is. It honestly looks like a KS750, um, judging by that. But that would make it a German motorcycle. And I'm not entirely sure. You know, obviously it's got the, you know, the stars to give it the indication that it is, you know, uh, an allied vehicle. But again, I'm not sure. And again, I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments. But it is exactly the same bike and uh, sidecar setup that we've seen in the previous sets. I'll just go ahead and do this so you can see it is exactly the same all around. Uh, slightly different headlamp here. Uh, it's just a solid. Uh, dome there's no like ridging which I don't like quite as much I'm not sure why they included that um, probably because they use it for the light up here and it's easier just to include two of the same pieces rather than uh, add this piece and you know bump up the parts count um, but at the same time they also use these pieces the uh, the proper ridged pieces for the engine, so I'm not entirely sure what the process was there on, on deciding that, but it's not really that big a deal. Anyway, uh, you do get this motorcycle, even though it is technically, I guess, a reissue of the same uh, thing we've already gotten. It's, again, very well done, so uh, you kind of let it slide. I would like to have seen maybe a uh, spare tire on the back or something, or something to go here would have been nice as well. Uh, you can open up the back and keep your extra bits in there. So, you know, you've got some binoculars and extra ammo and stuff like that in the back. So you got that going on. And, of course, you can put your uh, soldier on the motorcycle, as you saw before. And then you can charge through the checkpoint. Just get him on here. Uh, yeah, so it does come with a, a checkpoint. <laughs> there we go. So he can uh, charge right through. And we do get this whole shebang here. So let me show off this bit. And it's a, it's a little ungainly because it is tied by a string here. Uh, and it is string. It's not... Uh, when I first saw the, the pictures, I thought maybe it was another piece uh, similar to similar to this, which is actually a rubber piece. Uh, but no, it's actually it's actually like fabric string. So um, that's why it's got the weird kind of kinks in it because of the way it was folded up in the package. And I didn't really give a bother enough to like iron it or anything. I'm sure time will kind of straighten that out. Maybe I'll just like hang this for a while and see if that straightens it. But uh, you do get this little checkpoint uh, enclosure, this little, uh, I don't know, sentry stand, whatever you'd want to call it. Uh, and it's very, very basic, but it works. Uh, the guy can hide out in here, should you so desire. Or, you know, just chill, read a book, whatever he's doing. Uh, there is a small light here, presumably powered by this line coming over here. And I would also assume that there should be, like, a phone or some sort of communication device in there. 
Uh, there's not, so you'll have to use your imagination. But uh, overall, I mean, it's a nice little build. It's just, again, very, very simple, very basic, but it gets the job done. You get a little power pole here. And then, of course, some foliage, which is nice. I've never seen this piece before, but it, it works very well. Uh, it's really nicely done. It would be really cool to have multiples, multiples of these kind of stacked together uh, to create more full foliage. And, of course, you do get a nice... Uh, what is this? I don't even... I can't even remember what these are called. But, you know, this, this uh, <laughs> stopper, uh, this checkpoint bit. We'll just call it that because my brain is not functioning today. Uh, but anyway, you got a little piece right here. You can kind of press back on it and raise that and lower it. And these are all connected by little pins. So it is fairly easy to uh, pop that apart and have your uh, motorcycle bust through the checkpoint. You could even just weaken it a smidge and then you know have him kind of just crash on through should that be the thing that you're into doing um yeah so that's pretty much it for the set um honestly i'm a little bit disappointed uh just because of the fact that it is sort of a repeated set uh you know, the motorcycle is just about exactly the same here. With few exceptions, they use a different piece uh, here and here. Uh, but that's really about it. Uh, and in fact, this set has a little bit more because it's got the extra wheel and the uh, gasoline can as well. So, you know, I do, I do like this set overall. I think it's really cool. Um, but for $20, I would like to have seen maybe a little bit more, uh, out of it. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad set. And if you can get it on sale, it's definitely worth your while. So, uh, very cool. That's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back with more Mega Constructs reviews soon. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.